3HL 1045 The Zone continue, uh, continuing, easy for me to say, our broadcast from Radio Row in Vegas, Mandalay Bay uh, Complex, I guess. Uh, Convention Center, Brett Doherty, Ron Slay, and Don Davenport. Dean Blandino joins us at the table now. He's going to officiate how we do. You, you guys uh, are doing great. No, well, no was, flags yet. No, no flags. flags. I don't know. That was a bad start by me. <laughs> Just give us time. <laughs> False start. We'll screw it up. Don't Let, worry. Let's start here. You growing up, sports you played, goals yeah. you had in life, like, I did. Yeah, I played sports. I love sports. I played football my whole life, baseball, everything growing up. I I didn't know anything about officiating. I just knew the refs were there. I didn't have really an interest in it, but I loved the game. When I got out, I graduated from from school. I lived, grown up in New York, sent my resume to the NFL, the Major League Baseball, all of the, the major sports have offices in New York City. NFL called, and they had a couple of internships. I I was lucky to interview in a couple of different areas. One was officiating, and they offered me an intern in officiating, and I said, all right, I'm in. So when you were a kid playing sports, you never had problems with officials? Uh, oh, yeah. We used to yell at the officials all the time. <laughs> yeah. We, you know. I Might still, well I still, I've got two, I've got got two sons that? now that, that, you know, yell oh, at my officials Lord. all the time. You watching yeah. your kids play? Oh, There's my no gosh. way you could say I anything. Have to, my youngest, he's eight, and he, he, he's pretty good at soccer. And I just walk away. I, I look at the other parents yelling at the refs, and I just kind of walk away. I was like, I can't be on any any cell phone video yelling at the at the refs. That would be glorious, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! Rules analyst for Fox Sports, Dean Blandino. So, um, how did you get into that role? Yeah. So you know, I transitioning was transitioning into television. I was at the league office in I was in charge of officiating we used to do this segment on NFL Network with with Dan Helley and my predecessor one of my predecessors yeah yeah, Mike Prairie he used to do it with Rich Eisen and it was called it was a officiating segment I started doing that got a little experience and always knew that TV might be an opportunity when I was finished at the NFL and I thought I didn't you had great hair you knew that yeah you know (laughs) that's part of it it's look it's what I'm learning in TV it's about timing and lighting like that's the two (laughs) secrets that's right there. <laughs> Timing and light. Give me, soft, give me the two of those soft things. Soft lighting. Yeah. Soft lighting. And, I'm like, and, give me the soft focus. Right? 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And, and so <laughs> I, I knew that TV would, would be an opportunity. I didn't know how soon. And then I just, Fox Sports, we, we just started a conversation at a Super Bowl one year, and it kind of evolved. And and uh, and I was just, I said, you know what? I, w- I want to try this. Um, I love the NFL. It wasn't anything wrong with what I was doing at the NFL I loved it I just thought this was a great opportunity and haven't really looked back so uh, I got to work a couple of XFL games last year obviously um, you know we tried out some different things access and whatever we really pushed for that and and one of the things that people loved was the access from officiating from the replay crews and what they're talking about and what they're looking at because sometimes even you know even working college football games um, you know our crew sometimes doesn't even know what what everybody's looking at in a replay you know so that just that transparency was awesome do you ever see that happening in the nfl i i I do i hope so because that that was one of the i've never been around officiating even going back to 2020 the 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 xfl and we we did this the narrative flipped it changed it was positive it was like oh my gosh you're 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 letting us listen to this process. You're letting us in. And I think the NFL, there's an opportunity to do it. I don't know if they would peel the curtain back completely and, and, and let us yeah. in all the time. But I yeah. think there's opportunities because, look, you may not always agree with what we did, but you understood what went into it. And, and I think that gives people a better understanding. There's less of these guys don't know what the heck they're doing. It's yeah. like, okay, I kind of understand. I don't agree with it, but I understand. Yeah. So, and even just the what you're looking at, though, right, yeah. this kind of thing. So, how would you like, assess um, the officiating across the league, and not only just stopping in the NFL, but I'm saying college and everything? How would you assess that? And is it me watching it as a fan, thinking I know more, or <laughs> why they calling it this way? <laughs> or and the you look at it, yeah, and yeah, that, yeah, and you yeah, look at it, and you're thinking nowadays. like, oh, wait a minute, this is a good officiated game. I just think there's such a disconnect between how the game is officiated on the field and what we see watching the game, right? Because the officials, they get one look at it full right. speed from their perspective. Right. They might be running full speed, and then we're sitting down in our air-conditioned, you <laughs> yeah. know, living room, and we get five different looks, and we yeah. get all the different angles, and we go, 
how did they miss that? And it was like, yeah. well, they don't have all of that. And I think that's why technology and replay is so important to help correct some of these situations because the game does happen fast and the officials are not going to be perfect. I just think the scrutiny is greater than it's ever been. you got social yeah. media. You have all these different things. But uh, you're not alone. I mean, there's right. a lot of people feel that way. Yeah. Dean Blandino with us on 3HL, and you're part of that scrutiny, honestly. 100%. Like, and so when you first started doing this, um, what – was there an anxiety level within yourself as to, like, how much do I say here? Like, how, how deep in do I go? And do, do you hear about it later? Like, sure, there, there's that's a, a ba- tough role, man. There's a balance. I prefer – I actually prefer when I was in the command center making the decisions than – trying to analyze what somebody else is going to do and then try to articulate that but also do it in a way where we don't like if i disagree with a call i need to express that opinion but i can do it in a way that isn't disrespectful to where i think the officials understand that that's part of part of my job i'm gonna have to say if i disagree but i don't think you 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 have to be disrespectful about it and because there are there's issues at lower levels where Younger people aren't getting involved in officiating because they have bad experience, yeah. and mm-hmm. and that's that's just part of it. That yeah. goes back Parents. to the kid, to the yeah. kid point. Like, <laughs> why yeah. would anyone want to do that job? Yeah, like, you see these videos like, where these and these these are teenagers yeah, that are getting nuts. that are getting verbally and sometimes physically, you know, abused by adults, and it's like, why would I ever subject myself to that? So, does that go to the NFL, le- college level, NFL level, where it's hard to find people it, to do it, that it's job? It's becoming harder at the lower levels, you know. Yeah. The NFL won't ever have, you know, you're always going to have officials at the NFL, but if you're not getting good people in early, the 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 level, the quality will degrade over time and and I think that's one of the one of the concerns. So Will you just clear this up? I feel like we have this conversation every season about officiating at some point that fans are calling and complaining or whatever. How does it work in the NFL? Do you, you know, back in the day, it was like that was their side job. Yeah. Uh, where are we now from that yeah, standpoint? Yeah, it's interesting. When I first started late 90s, you know, they had a full-time job and they officiated on the side. Now, right. when they, especially when they get to the college level, the, the FBS level, yeah. they officiate. And they might have a part-time gig because there's so much that goes into it now. The, they spend so many. I think that's one of the misconceptions about officiating. They don't just show up on Saturday or Sunday and work. There's right. a lot of film study. I mean, this crew that's going to work the game on Sunday, they've been, they've been at it for two and a half weeks. Zoom sessions, looking at film, conference calls. There's a lot of preparation that goes in, and that, and that includes during the regular season. They put in a lot of time. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Dean yeah. Blandino, going to be uh, going to be uh, an analyst on the Westwood One call, which we will air on 104.5 The Zone. Uh, like and it. A great matchup. So you're going to yeah. have an important job, and and we'll all be watching, and <laughs> criticizing. Yeah. All the of is coming. I'm looking forward to the radio call, though, because if you're just listening to it on radio, I can you can't dispute what I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. you paint the picture, yeah. right? That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. You can paint the picture the way you exactly. want to paint yeah. the picture. Like, Trust me, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, man, uh, great great to meet you, man. Uh, yeah, you Thank too. you for the perspective. Really interesting story, and uh, we, we definitely thank you. Dean Blandino going to be on the call. Westwood 1 on 104.5 The Zone. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. Appreciate All right, more 3HL next on 104.5 The Zone.